lovies welcome to my channel craft away with may i'm may if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by to see what i have going on if you are returning thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me i appreciate you all so very much if you have not already done so please consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting just know that those comments only desire and not required. So it's because I love to chat and interact with you all. I have missed you all so very much. Today's video is number two of my Valentine's Day series, um, Valentine DIYs in decor. Like I was getting ready to say, sorry, I have missed you guys. I've had a bit of a family emergency that, you know, needed my attention and um, involving my sister but all is well she is healing and you know and, and we have God's mercy on her so today's video are five DIYs that will come in roughly about five dollars or less some may tip over five dollars but for the most part I do believe they all come in around under five bucks so today's the first um, DIY we're going to start with is a um, unfinished wooden mason jar that I ordered off of Amazon in a pack I believe of 12 and um, they were about 10 bucks each so they roughly came out to a little bit over a dollar and they are unfinished unfinished wood slices or pieces and you can definitely recreate this using Dollar Tree items they do carry um, large size mason jars um, for different seasons and so you can just you know strip it down and do what you um if you wanted to recreate this now initially as you saw there i went in and i taped that off using some painters tape i painted it black originally but i totally it, it was more out of habit but um to fit in with more of the valentine decor that i'm going with this year which is more of a sweetheart romantic victorian cottage style farmhouse <laughs> all that wrapped up into one it's one of those neutral colors with some soft pinks um and off whites and, and things of that nature so what i'm doing here is giving it a light um stain using the burnt umber um, paint and you really can use any dark brown paint and i'm using a diaper white to apply it you can also use a wet napkin um i wanted a very very light stain as you see right here um if whatever reason wasn't absorbing it as well as it normally does so I'm not sure what happened there maybe I just handle it too much and too much oil maybe got into it I'm not sure but now I'm going in with some coral color paint this is my preference um, it just ties into the decor I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now and while that paint is still wet as well as the brush I'm taking some paint um, the desert pan paint by hello hobby the coral paint was by folk art and um, the desert can is by Hello Hobby you get from Walmart. So I just blended those two colors together. I'm using this beautiful crafting paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. Oh, oh, oh it's so pretty, guys. It's so pretty. And yes, I made a mistake on the back, but hey, that does not cause me to lose any sleep at night. <laughs> so, um, but by all means, if you were to recreate it, definitely you can back, you know, cover the backing with some packing paper or something, or paint it. And then I'm taking some of these rub-on transfers that I ordered off of Amazon as well. It was a good variety that was in there. It was very farmhouse um, style rub-ons. And I love the little pig that came in there. And this is like the second um, project or third that I've made using the pig. It's so cute. It's just so cute, cute, cute and precious. Um, and so I'm just trimming it down because it was like he was laying in a bed of flowers and leaves. And I wanted to trim him down so he could fit where I cut off that crafting paper. And it blended very well. I love these transfers um, because they blend very well with paint. Like you can't see that little um, outline. You know, sometimes you can see an outline when you do rub-ons. And you can't really tell that here. And I absolutely love this. Now, off I, when I thought I was recording, I added in some, I had some uh, pink and white pearl beads. Um, that I had gotten from Daiso. Um, they do have adhesive backing and then I used that lace um, heart ribbon from Dollar Tree and I forgot to press record on my camera. So I just added that there. It's nothing big or major that I did. I just, you know, laid it out how you saw it there. And what I'm doing here is taking some of these laser cutout hearts that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm painting them in the coral 
color now I was gonna originally use these on the mason jar but I decided not to at um, you know as I finished putting everything together it just did not flow how I thought it was gonna flow but I do end up using them all throughout the projects today so here this is a little out of um, <coughs> excuse me out of order um, I took this piece of greenery greenery sorry from an uh, upcoming project in just a few minutes and I'm adding them here now when I laid this out I just laid it out with two but when I went to glue them on I did not move them over far enough <laughs> And so it didn't lay out how I originally planned and I end up having to add a third leaf in there which it still worked out really pretty for me and so I was not disappointed with that and then next what I'm gonna do you'll see here what I'm doing and I'm like yeah this doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't look right in my eyes you know you just something goes off to you so I took another one um, cut that in half and I used the larger of that one and add to the other side and that gave me the look more in line of what I originally had planned and so now I'm just going in with some foam roses from Dollar Tree and I love these roses this is my second year using these and they're very versatile and they absorb paint really really well so I really like using them and you know they're just that right cute tiny size <laughs> and it really tied this project together so now what I'm doing is going in and adding in um, one of the XOXO cutout from, Do I think it was in the pack with Dollar Tree. If it wasn't Dollar Tree, it was Hobby Lobby, but I'm 99.5% sure, <laughs> not 99.9, 99.5, that it came from the pack from Dollar Tree where it had the pink, natural, and white um, colors. So it's like an off-white to me. And I thought that would just add a nice little pop here. I'm going in with some of the... Uh, rose or laser cutout rose laser cutouts those did come from Dollar Tree as well um, and I'm gonna switch this up like this is me just playing around with it trying to get a feel for what I like and so I didn't adhere that rose right away cuz I wasn't 100% feeling it but I am going in with some other style of hearts that I did get from Dollar Tree as well and I'm just putting those at the bottom because I had a little gap there and I just need to fill that in so what I'm doing here originally I thought this pink would the pink the red regular pink that was on there would tie in with the flowers and it didn't I just was not liking it so I ended up painting over it with a coral and I felt like yep yep that works that works for me and then I had this little teeny tiny heart I honestly don't know where I got it from but I saved it for some reason and so I felt like that fit, fit perfectly here now I have these little banner stickers that I got from Michaels and they were it was a pack of seven or eight or something like that and I got it for like two bucks I think and so I'm just using one from there and then and that goes right under where the little piggy is laying it just it fit perfectly there and so next I was like okay I am um I wanted a string to hang from here I wanted to <laughs> to hang from here and it didn't look right and so I end up going with one string adding two keys and yeah I wasn't like yeah you know super super happy with it but it still worked out okay it wasn't like the, the end of the world at all so <laughs> so I ended up putting the two keys on there cut the little string down left it a little fuzzy I wanted that little fuzzy look. I don't know why I wanted that little fuzzy look on the end of there but nonetheless it was really cute I do um, glue the string down because it just was flopping the keys over which I should have known better anyway but nonetheless I um, glued those down and then I'm using one of the little hearts um, and it has the word love in it and I'm gonna put that there and that's it for this and you guys will see um, it at the at the end during my reveal and next up are these two gorgeous pink candles that I stumbled upon at Dollar Tree and literally stumbled upon <laughs> They smell so good. They're called Pink Bouquet, and they're very soft and, and very nice smelling. And so the only downsides to them is that for whatever reason, they put either the packaging date or expiration date on there. I'm not sure. They put some type of stamp on there, on the glass. And I'm just like, why wouldn't you put that on the bottom? But 
I figured out a way to cover it up. So I found these beautiful gold stickers at Hobby Lobby in their regular crafting section. And oh my goodness, I fell in love. Because you guys know I love bows, butterflies, and hearts. <laughs> And these are gorgeous. I'm like, what else can I put these on? Like, they are so beautiful. And it, match, it matches perfectly with the gold rub-ons from Dollar Tree. So, I cut out this word. I cut out the word love off the gold rub-ons from Dollar Tree. And um, these go on very nicely. And I always get confused when I'm putting these on, these particular ones on, because as you're rubbing them, it exposes a lot of gold. And I always have to stop and check myself like, okay, did you put this on right? But you do. Once you lift it up, it only puts down the letters. And so, uh, these go really nice and they look so gorgeous and they look so high end, guys. Like, literally, you would not know these came from Dollar Tree and you could if you are selling your crafts this is something you could totally do and for the set you could probably sell these for like 10 or 12 dollars so I'm not gonna sell them because I love pink and it ties in with my decor but I'm just saying like these came out so cute um even if I hadn't you'll see later on I added some embellishments like some rhinestones from Dollar Tree for those um here to cover up that that you know the date or whatever that stamp was but look at that they're so cute and even I would have left it like this because you don't really see the wording because I, I put it off to the side not and behind where the lettering is so it wouldn't show up so you really can't even tell it's there on the other on the other candle I put um what did I put we love so I thought that was super cute as well and I just kept adding embellishments and you'll see where I go back in after this and I'm gonna add more to it so here is a um, a plaque or plaque plaque that I had um, it never sold during my pop-up shop and I just stored it away and I've been doing some um, decluttering and I stumbled upon it I was gonna go ahead and donate it but I was like you know what no I think I could figure out a way to tie this into my Valentine's Day to court this year. So what I did was I removed the, the flower that was originally on there, which is part of the flower that I put on the mason jar, <laughs> the leaves. And um, I just went in and added some of these miniature cubes to the bottom to create a small riser. And I covered the, the little spot where I sanded off the um, hot glue using these Dollar Tree stickers um, because I actually had spray painted this at the time and when I was doing this it was too cold to go outside so so um I just covered it up this way and it really it was fine it just added a little rustic you know charm to it in my opinion and there's where I added the rhinestones. I again, I thought I was recording, and I didn't, but you will see them at the final reveal. So, here I just decided like I'm gonna add in a couple more of these hearts just because I don't think it really needed it, but <laughs> oh, I love the hearts, guys. I love the hearts, I love them so much. <laughs> And these are really cute. And I figured, you know, that looks really cute on the tray. Um, even though the gold is a little bit different, it wasn't completely off. And so I still felt like the tray was a little bit bare. And the love, the word love there, I printed that off in my Cricut Joy. It was in the, the Cricut Joy design space. So um, super easy. And then I got these hearts from... Um, the 99 cent store and they're like this soft pink and they have gold outline on them and I thought these were so gorgeous and they just reminded me of the conversation hearts I thought they were super cute and I just added those on with a little dab of hot glue and that was it for this piece so super simple it was something and I got this pack I'm sorry from Daiso and at the time I purchased it was a dollar fifty you could definitely use like the bamboo um, cutting board from Dollar Tree and get the same effect if you wanted to try this next up is this beautiful heart the beaded heart 
um, sign I wanted to make for my kitchen. So the larger and the smaller heart came from Hobby Lobby and the middle heart came from Dollar Tree. I know you guys have probably already seen them and the circular ones. And when I was able to find this, because this is something I have wanted to do, and I was like, oh my goodness, I get to do it. So the larger heart, I think I paid two bucks for around two bucks and then the smaller one was like a dollar 19 and then of course the dollar 25 at Hobby Lobby I'm sorry at Dollar Tree so what I'm doing here is just taking some of that jute twine that's already there and I'm just attaching them that way and then I add a little dab of glue to the knot just so you know it doesn't wiggle or fall or whatever but um I, I the top two I hope I say this without confusing you the top two I'm, I left maybe like an inch gap and then the smaller one I did that one I'm sorry the top the top two I did a half inch and then the smaller one I did a one inch gap there and just because I am going to add some little miniature flowers there and um, you'll see I'm going to hold it up because I got so excited guys when I saw this and I'm leaving it in the natural wood color because again it ties in with my decor now although this is going to be going in my kitchen my kitchen colors are not this color but I kept it the natural color because I felt like it would not throw those colors off like it would still blend in a sense um and so especially where I'm going to put it like you know not not all the colors there so I think it'll be okay when I looked at it I think it looked beautiful if not I'm still gonna leave it up until the end of February <laughs> February so what I'm doing here is taking some flowers off of a pick I got from Dollar General I believe it was like six bucks and I'm only gonna use three of those flowers I think like six or eight buds were on there um, and I'm just gluing them down now I should have used some type of backing here but because it's gonna be up against the wall it's not going to actually be dangling where the hearts will be spinning you know towards each other so it worked out okay um so i didn't put anything behind it but if you you know wanted to do something similar to this you would probably definitely need to add something there to keep them staying upright if you want to have it free swinging and so here i'm playing with some um flower picks that I got from the 99 cent store and I think they were $1.99 or either $1.49 something like that and I'm using just two of those small flowers I think these are peonies I think I don't know I don't know my flowers like that but I think that's what they are if not I just like them because of the color and it tied into my decor so <laughs> yeah um so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in, trimmed it down a little bit so the leaves, because they were kind of sticking out quite a bit. Um, I just didn't line them up correctly. And so then I'm taking another one of the laser cutouts from Dollar Tree in a pack that they are selling now. And I love everything Dollar Tree has come out. You know, I don't get to see a lot of stuff or get a lot of stuff that you guys get, but the stuff I have been finding is so pretty. And some of the stuff I've had in my stash for a while too. And here I'm just going in reinforcing it with some of that Gorilla Hot Glue. Um, and this is where I just go in and start adding in the flowers. So I'm doing two on the smaller one. I put one big one at the top. As you can see there, I take another one of those laser cutouts that I painted earlier on and add it right here. Because I wanted this to just be about the hearts and florals. And I love this and this would be so cute like I said if you can find a way to get that backing to stay up this would be really cute if you had something where you could hang off your front porch you know when you come in um kind of like where you have your light I think this would look really really pretty there hanging um and even if you added lights here like you could really tie the um you know wrap the twinkle lights around between the beads and really make this work you know kind of put that battery pack behind one of the flowers I think you could really make this work but I absolutely loved how this came out guys like it surpassed my expectations as you know many of my projects often do um, and so I really love this and I know I'll use this I can really see myself actually using this all year round <laughs> I really could um, but that's it for that one and I'll, I'll show you that as well at the end so next up um, I saw this cute 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 sign in Michaels and I just had to dupe it and it said lover's lane now it was just your basic black and white farmhouse style sign and 
I was like, oh my goodness. As soon as I saw it, I had the vision. Because they'd already had this truck and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And that sign made me think of this truck. And so I took a sign from Dollar Tree, um, already in this color brown. I wasn't feeling that brown, so I did go in with some um, of the desert tan as well as some burnt umber um, to distress it. And you'll see that in a minute. So with the car, I just used the... Um, the coral color and I did paint the trimming in black just because I couldn't really use the brown I probably could have got away with using the brown but I couldn't I couldn't envision how that would look with that coral color like I don't know my, my mind just could not picture it so I went with what I trusted or what I could see you know or visualize which was the black and coral so here I'm just taking a fine sharpie marker and I'm just outlining the back of the truck. The truck had a sign on the back that says Happy Valentine's Day and XOXO for the license plate. Now these were like lasered in or scorched in. So I just went over it with the, the Sharpie to um, bring it out more. Because even though I painted it, you could still see it, but it was just very faint and I really wanted it to stand out. So I'm taking some more crafting paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> love these gorgeous and I just cut you know cut around those flowers because I was gonna try to use the whole little square piece there but um, it needed to be like um, two-sided I guess is what you could say for it to match up and I and I just it wasn't working for me so I had to end up cutting them out completely just so I could line them up the right way or the same way rather and then next I'm taking some macrame rope. I'm putting knots on the end here and I'm just going to staple these to the back of the board. Now you can also use some heavy duty adhesive and just kind of glue over those and then add in some popsicle sticks for security. But I chose to use my um, staple gun. Now it did go through the wood in the front or it did go through the front of the sign should I say. Not very big. I was able to clip some of that part of the staples away. But it was still there and it wasn't noticeable to me. Like it was noticeable because I knew it was there. But if somebody looking at it, they really wouldn't pay attention to it. And I kind of camouflaged it, which you guys will see at the end of this project. So next I took a stencil that I created off of my um, Cricut Joy that says Lover's Lane. And um, I went in with the ivory paint. And I went kind of back and forth. Should I use black paint or ivory paint? And I ultimately, as you can see, went with the ivory color and I really I'm glad that I did that because it looks really pretty guys like I didn't have a whole lot of bleeding even if I did I wouldn't have stressed about it just because I don't mind the distress looking and the stress look and that would have just tied into that for me so here I went in with some Mod Podge to seal everything and it looks gorgeous to me already even without the little truck there it looks gorgeous already and so I wanted to be able to change the battery in the little truck because it does light up. Um, I'm going to use some of my um, magnets and they have adhesive backings to them. So all I did was um, add them to, you know, half of it to the truck and half of it to the sign. I glued it on using a little bit of hot glue and just a dab of um, Gorilla Glue. And um, that will work perfect, but it will give me that ease to, you know, separate it so I can change out the battery when I need to. Then I'm going to take one of these arrows, and it comes in a pack of two from Dollar Tree. And so I'm just adding some, a bead of hot glue, and I did add in some Gorilla glue as well to adhere this to the board. Because since it's at Lover's Lane, I wanted to get that arrow, you know, to point to it. <laughs> What was you guys' lover's lane? Ours is Mulholland Drive. So, at least back in the day it was. I don't know if it still is. But when we were young, that's what it was. <laughs> so, um, I should have actually added that on the side. But nonetheless, I clamped those down. And then I'm just going in with some more laser cutouts. Some hearts and roses. And literally, that's it. I kept those in the natural state as well. I didn't think they would show up too well. But they actually really did. And then I took another piece from that flower pick I got from the 99 cent store, put two of the roses in the back of the truck, and that was like literally it um, for this um, project. I don't think I did anything else after this, did I? Oh yeah, I did go in and add some of those pink and white pearls to the corners just to kind of give it, you know, more like it looks like it was kind of a plaque on top of the 
the sign, if that makes sense. But that was it, I think, for this, guys. And I absolutely love the way this come out, came out. And here it is. So you guys have to let me know what you think of each one of these. I really love them. Um, it really, as you can see, it tied into my other decor I already have set up there. And I know it can look a little congested at times, but because my space is limited and sometimes it's easier just to add it in opposed to taking a whole lot off. I'm kind of stuck with doing it this way. But please let me know what you guys think. If you love them. And if you have stuck around. Um, till the end. Thank you guys so much for taking this ride with me. I appreciate it so much. Um, that you guys come back to hang out with me. Or that you even stop by for the first time. To check out and see what I have going on. You know it touches my heart. That you, you would want to spend some time with me. So please consider subscribing. Liking, sharing, commenting. Um, you know, again, just because I love chatting with you all. And before I wrap up the video, I would love to just let you guys know, fall in love every day. Every day you have an opportunity to open your eyes. It's an opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day. So just find the good in everything. You know, everything happens in a season. I'm sorry, everything happens for a reason, but only lasts for a season so hold on to that and know that good things are going to come in um, or you will have the strength to get through whatever comes your way so with any you know holding you guys up any longer I want to say be safe be kind happy crafty the, the days away and I hope to see you all in the next video bye lovies talk to you soon